Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of My Summer Car. Um, after I stopped recording last time, I got a phone call that told me that the ratchet set that I ordered is available for pickup at the store. So right now I'm going to make a town run, buy a few more things, and grab some of the stuff that I accidentally left there last time. Um, I've decided I'm probably not going to do the fast forwarding a uh, bit when I'm on the boat. I'll just, once I start going, I'll cut and then we'll pick back up when I'm in town. So I'll see you there. Okay, so I'm here at the store, and hopefully this is where I'm supposed to uh, pick up the package, but uh, we'll find out real quick, I imagine. Alright, so there's some of the things that I left here last time, the uh, motor oil and the coolant, and let me just look around, was there anything else? I think I got everything that I needed, but uh, I should definitely make sure. Alright, I saw that I had that in the um i had that in the boat so i think it's just those two things but where is oh no dude let, let you finish go ahead oh jesus grab a case of beer oh here we go there's my post order jesus this guy is chatting seriously Okay, paid for the post order. Now, where... Where's my stuff, though? Where's my... Is it just gonna, like, appear somewhere? Alright, pay for this order as well. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to make several trips back anyway, because I can only carry one of those things at a time. So, I guess it doesn't matter. I just wish it was... You know, I just paid 300 something dollars or whatever the money is for that, and I don't see it anywhere. Okay, well, nothing to do about it now. I'm just going to start bringing these things to the boat, and uh, I'll come back in when, uh, when I'm done with that. Okay, so, I don't know, I don't know if this is Amos Auto KY package? I don't know if this is my my wrenches or what. Um, oh, it is. Yeah. Okay. So I just used the use key on it, and that looks like if I can grab it. Come on, grab it. Yeah. Let's get up there. Yes. There is my new ratchet set. Glorious. Okay. All right. That is that is just very very exciting to me. All right, why can't I close? I would like to close the lid, though. Oh, no, don't throw it. There we go. Okay, I'm going to take this to the to the boat, place it very gently inside so I don't lose that. But yeah, it was just it was that package was sitting on the side there. I hadn't seen it before. Luckily, I saw it while I was walking up. Okay, so after several trips back and forth to the store, I've got everything I need loaded into the boat. Uh, let me just, I'm getting, my guy's getting a little hungry. Oh, I'll, I'll, he can, he can last. I already drank some of the beers so that uh, his thirst could go down. And I'm just going to make this quick trip back home and, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to unload all that crap there too. Alright, so, uh, yeah, I'll, again, I'm going to cut and then I'll come back in. I guess after I unload all this stuff at the other dock. Maybe I'll drive the van down so I can load it in the van, and um, that way I can make it all in one trip. We'll try that. Okay, so uh, it just started raining. I have never encountered weather in this game before. I don't know if that's just because I've never lived long enough, or, um, or if this is something they added in a new update, but, uh, alright, pretty cool, I guess. It doesn't seem to be affecting the water at all, so I think I'm probably still safe. Um, I'll let you know if that changes. Okay, I've run out of fuel again. Luckily, I do have the fuel right here in the boat with me, so this shouldn't be a big deal. 
but it's just a little bit of an annoyance, especially when it keeps trying to make me be in driver, driving mode. Alright, get this cap off. I tried to check what the fuel level was before I left, but it doesn't seem to give me any sort of gauge of what the fuel level is unless I am pouring stuff in. Uh, which, if I remember right, is kind of there, like that. And also, it doesn't show me anything to indicate how much is left in the um, the tub, the plastic, whatever you, container. Uh, doesn't show me how much is left in that. So I don't really know how much I have left. Hopefully a lot. Uh, I'm just going to let this fill all the way up. And that way I won't have to refill it for a while. Or we'll see if it stops early. Uh, that will mean that I've run out of, yep, looks like I just ran out of fuel in this uh, thing, so that gets thrown into the lake. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I'll get the cat back on and uh, get back eventually. Okay, so we're back at the house, and uh, I am kind of try to drive this van just down to the dock because I really don't want to make half a dozen trips back up trying to bring all the stuff up from there. So this is something that makes me very nervous because again, every time I have ever, ever tried to drive in this game, it ends in my death. So uh, let's hope that that's not the case, huh? In fact, you know what? Seatbelt. Very important. We're just gonna... There we go fasten that. Uh, let's see, the ignition's on this side for some reason. Let's get this thing going. I can hear the phone ringing inside. Uh, I just don't even care. There we go. We got it running. Get it into first gear and just drive. Why, why aren't we moving? Oh, I've got the parking brake on. Alright, let's release the handbrake all the way and now we're off. Let's see, this is the brake, right? Alright, I want to make sure I know where the brake is before I go. So the dock should just be right down here. And uh, I'm going to try not to drive this thing into the water. That'd be problematic. In fact, slow down. Let's, let's slow down a little bit. Very nervous about this. Whole, whole, nervous about this whole thing. Okay, there's the dock. And it, it stopped raining for a little while while I was boating here, and then it started again once I arrived. So, I don't know what that's about. I'm gonna can I turn this thing around? That way I can load it into the back? That'd be ideal. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's put the parking brake on. And I'm just going to leave it running, I guess. Exit driving mode. Oh, I can't until I unfasten my seatbelt. That's wonderful. Here we go. Whew, it is loud with this rain out here, but I think this is going to work. Oh, uh, well, if I can get the back door open, it's going to work. Come on, get up. Let's stay up. There. What is, what is that? Oh, that's just that's from the gas thing, huh? Okay. So this is great. We can just unload stuff from the boat right into the van and save myself a lot of time. Kind of just like throw it in there. Oh no, way too heavy. Didn't go anywhere. Crap that again. Stop acting like a jerk. Oh come on. Get, get in there a little bit better than that. There we go. Grab the beer next. Actually, I'll grab a beer next. Oh uh, yeah. Can I grab the beer while I'm drinking this one? Yes, I can. See, game, it is possible to have two things in your hands at once. There we go. Let's see what else we got in here. All kinds of stuff. You know what? Gonna eat some of these sausages. Why not? I feel like the rain should wash away some of my dirtiness. I'm gonna leave that bug spray in there. Actually, I'm gonna use it and then leave it in here. And, uh. Yeah. There we go, because I do hear, I think it's, actually I don't know if it's the mosquito or the fly, I can't really tell the difference, to be honest, between the two. Hopefully it was the mosquito, because now it'll go away. Get my lovely new ratchet set in there, very excited to try that out. 
got my, what is this one, motor oil? No, I already put the motor, coolant. All right, yeah, get the coolant, very important stuff. I put that in the radiator, I assume. <laughs> get that, and uh, what else we got in here? I'm gonna leave some of the food, too, in here. Oh, no, no, stop that, don't do that. Climb, yes, climb into the boat, do that, there we go. I'll leave some of the food in here, but some of this I'm going to take with me. These macarons, they're, they're coming with me. Just throw them into the van here. These I probably actually can throw. Yeah! Run back over. I got brake and clutch fluid. So that actually... Oh! Wait, before it said brake and clutch fluid, when I looked at it in the store, does it say that on here, or is this just brake fluid? Here I was really excited because I was in the store and when I looked at it it said brake and clutch fluid and I'm like that's great because I was worried about putting the wrong thing in the wrong place and it acted like it was the same. I don't know if it's the same now though. If you know one way or the other, please let me know in the comments because I don't want to put brake fluid in the clutch if I'm not supposed to. Alright. I don't know why, every time I come back, the frame rate just goes all to hell. But only when I look at the only when I look at the house. If I'm looking this way, got terrible frame rate. Look over here, it's okay. Alright. Doesn't matter right now, because I got all this in here. Close that up. Car is still running. Climb on in. Come on, get down. There we go. And put on my seatbelt again. Safety first, everybody. Oh, come on. I'm oh, fine. Enter driving mode. Get my seatbelt on. And I'm still in first. Release the brake. And here we go. Try not to hit any of these trees. Let's get back to the road if we can. It's a little difficult because the game is slowing down so much. So I'm being cautious. Oh, here we go. Almost got it. Almost back on the road. Oh, come on. Don't skid. Don't feel like I'm really going fast enough for this thing to lose control. Alright, I feel like this definitely saved me a lot of time doing it this way, and I'm going to remember that. Next time, maybe I'll actually just drive the van down there to begin with. And, um... Oh, brakes, brakes, brakes. This thing does not stop well. Alright. But yeah, next time, maybe I'll drive the van down there to begin with, and... Uh, turn this off. And that way, I'll just have it there. It'll be great. Alright, I gotta undo the seatbelt. Okay. So most of this, I think, actually it can just stay in here, but... I'm gonna go ahead and grab those ratchets, because I'm just way too excited to use them. Come on, open, you bastard. There. Yes. So excited about these ratchets. Irrationally so. Let's get these in here. I do need to take care of like fatigue, thirst, and dirtiness and all that crap first though. So let me get these over here, put them on the table, and uh, then I'll go do that and we'll come back. Uh, a friend of mine actually told me the half shafts in real life, he wasn't sure in the game, but in real life the half shafts should attach to the front t wheel assembly uh, with a single large bolt. So uh, when I get back I'm going to try to take these tires off and see if I can attach it. That was uh, his suggestion. Thank you Corey for that suggestion and <laughs> I really hope it works. Okay, ready to work on this. So I took care of most of the needs. Obviously the fatigue and stress are still high. You can probably hear I've got the sauna heating up. Uh, but it wasn't ready, so it will have to wait. But right now, oh, I'm so excited <laughs> to try these out. I really hope it's just like so much faster than the wrenches are. I'll turn this around so I can really get to it. All right, tool mode. Got. Well, I can't. I can't select it. I guess I just select these. All right. Yeah. Let's find the right one for these tires, and I'll try. What uh, Corey suggested, take these tires off and uh, see what we can do. Mm, oh, I 
What's this notification? Oh, someone's trying to send me messages. I hope that doesn't actually show up in the video. <laughs> we'll find out. Alright, what the hell size are these? This is my least, least favorite part of this game. It's trying to figure out what size you have to use to get to do things. Alright, so... Oh, it's so much faster. Yeah, look at that, go! Oh my god, I don't even need to fast forward anymore. I can just get these things right off. Alright, so glad. So next time, if I ever have to start a new game, God, please don't let me have to start a new game. <laughs> but if I do... Oh, don't fall. If I have to start a new game, I know exactly what I'm doing. Alright, I am going to buy this first thing. First thing I do, go into town and ordering that. Because that's magnificent. Okay, I don't know I don't know how much of this I should take off. Uh, you know, maybe I'll, I'll bring one of these over here and I'll just kind of, as I start taking things off, I'll, I'll try it at each step. Alright. So right now, still, still no dice. Nothing doing. Alright. Let me just make sure. Okay, so set that aside. We're going to take off that main bolt. I think that's the one that he thinks is uh, is similar to what he's done in real life. That might be the same bolt that does it all. So let me take that out. And uh, let me just... I wonder if I can attach it now? Like if I just had to have that undone? That'd be too convenient, wouldn't it? Yep, too convenient. They can't let me do that. So instead, let me take... Yeah, their disc break off, and now let's try this. Maybe that's the trick. I had to have that part, the, uh, what's it called, spindle, on, but I couldn't have the break on yet. But no, it still doesn't seem to want me to put it on. Let me just, I'll try from, I'll try from underneath it. Why not? it down here and see if I have to put it in like from this side somehow. I'm still not still not getting anything not not anything helpful at the very least. Alright. Okay. Well that was worth a try. Um, still I'm gonna take that spindle off and we'll try it there. Oh come on. What am I stuck on? And the good thing is, now that it doesn't take forever to get the bolts off, this is not a big deal having to take this all off. Oh, but now I'm gonna have to figure out where the bolts are for this. Okay, so I see it right there, I believe. Um, or was this the one that I really need to be on the inside for? Crap, I don't remember. Let's see. Okay, we'll just we'll try things. I'm just gonna I don't really remember how that attaches. So we're just gonna see what we can what we can find here. I'm not seeing any bolts with this. My stupid mosquito or fly. It must be the uh oh. Uh oh. This is new. Hold on. Um the power went out, I think? What the hell? Um... Uh-oh. It's like... Oh, crap. Okay, well, before I do anything else, let me just see, maybe this is hot enough in the sauna that I can at least use this. I'm gonna try it, and then and then I can try to figure this out from there. Oh, son of a! I filled that. Oh, you bastards! I filled this bucket before I left. Is this, like the water gonna be out too? Okay, no, water still works. I can at least refill the bucket, but that's a mm, that's upsetting. Close that. Maybe maintain the heat because I really want to get rid of this stress before I try to figure out why the hell all the lights in the house are out now. 
Like, was... Uh, I don't even know. I'm just blindly speculating. Is there, like, a, a bill I was supposed to pay, and now the... Now that they've turned the power off on me? It's getting dark, too. Like, it's nearly night, so this is not a great time for this. Okay, at least this is working. At least I can get rid of my stress. This had enough time to heat up before the power went out. Oh, come on, how precise do I need to be? There are things I really hate about this game, y'all. I'm sure this is exactly how people use saunas, too. Just frantically running back and forth between a bucket and the coals. Just getting as much water on there as you can. Ah! Come on. There we go. It'd be really nice, you know, if I could just hold the bucket in one hand and do this with the other game des developers. Okay, I appear to be out of water, but my stress is mostly all the way down. So that's good enough, I guess. Good enough for now. But seriously, why is my power out? Is there... I don't even know where to start. Uh, yeah, well, I do know where to start. Grab that flashlight since it's getting dark out. Where did I put that thing? There. Okay. So, I think I discovered earlier I don't really, I don't have a mailbox. I don't think I do. Let's run up the road a little bit and see. Maybe it's at the end of the road here. But I didn't see a mailbox, so like if there was a bill I was supposed to pay and didn't, I don't know where I was even supposed to get it from. Oh, there is a mailbox. Oh man, I bet that's exactly it. I bet that is exactly it. There's some stupid bill. I hope I have enough money to pay it. Alright, let's see. Um, open mailbox. Oh look, it's got my name on it and everything. I uh, grab the... Well, grab it please? Oh, no, I can't, because I'm holding the flashlight. Ugh, this game. Okay. Ah, oh, come on. Okay. Bill's paid, apparently, because money's out of... The money's gone from my little counter up there. I'm gonna have to figure out how to do some of the jobs in this game, because I am very quickly running out of funds. I really hope that this is instantaneous, and I'm gonna get back to the house and everything's on again. Because uh, I really I don't want to have to wait. Especially with the stupid frame rate dropping the way it is. That is so annoying. Some of it's because I've got the recording software. Like I said before, it takes some of the resources. It does look like the power is back on just immediately. So, you know, the postal system here is just magnificent. Yeah, look at this. I can look this way. I got 18 frames a second. I look this way. Eight. That's terrible. What's going on, game? Honestly. All right. Well, I can uh, I can turn this flashlight off since now I'm back to that. And I think I'm, my fatigue is in the red. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, go ahead and sleep. Turn this thing off. At least I know now that there's a mailbox. Could I have put that order form in that mailbox? Oh, that would have been so much easier. Okay, well, you know what? It's something I know, at least now, so that's something. Ugh. This is sleep. Then I'll go back and we'll we'll keep trying to put that um, half shaft on there. But it, I don't know, it might be something that I do have to have the engine in first, but we'll we'll keep experimenting and find out. <laughs> At least now the, the power is back on, so I know I'll be able to see regardless of what time of day it is. Though it looks like I slept for a long time and the sun's already up. Okay, where was I even? Right, I was trying to take the spindle off, but I didn't know where 
the, um, I didn't know where the bolts were for it. Alright, I don't think it's going to be something smaller than that. And I already tried that, that one, the next one up, so we'll go to this one. Alright, right there I saw it. Take that out. Oh, I love, I am loving, absolutely loving these ratchets. Oh, it's marvelous. Oh, but there's more. That's right. I remember this because this is when I got under the car and I could see there were more that I hadn't been able to see before. Yep, there was one right there. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah, I can almost see it from the side. Let's see if I zoom in. Yeah, and then I can see the one right next to it, but I can't get it to highlight it. No, I don't want that one. I want the other one. Work with me. Oh, come on. Why won't you do? Why won't you do the thing? It won't turn at all. Why can't I turn that? I can't turn it either way. It looks like it's out, but what if I wanted to put it back in? Okay, fine. I'll get under the stupid car. This game gets on my nerves. Okay. Can I even see it from here? Okay. Yes, I can. Why can't I tighten? What is going on here? Alright, take that out. And... Oh, come on. Yeah, I can't tighten. It won't let me tighten them back now. Or is there, like... I mean, I know that in reality, I have to flip the little switch on the on the ratchet, you know, to change it from tighten to untighten. But it won't. I don't know how to do that. Is it like switching gears? Maybe no. No. Hmm. Well, now I'm confused. Is there a control for this? We got, we're looking at the controls. I mean, there's a control for urinating and hitchhiking. Uh, so surely, surely there is something that's gonna that's gonna change this. Oh, I haven't tried the use use object button. Will that do it? Yes. Okay. So at least now I know how to tighten things with these. Um, but can I take it off now? Let's get back up here. Don't want to be underneath it when I take this part off. Come on, walking upstairs is not this hard. These are early access games, man. No, there's still other things attached. Alright, well, flip this over and uh, see what's next. Ugh. I swear, once I get this, I don't know how long I'm going to play this after I get this car together. This is my, that's really my goal here, is just I want this car to start, <laughs> but after that, it might be on to something else. Actually, I even know, oh, what was that? What, what am I even turning there? Am I able to take that off now? No? Can't get low enough to look at that. Okay, well, whatever. Take, untight, do this one too. Okay, now I swear, everything is. Ah. Okay, maybe I have to take other things off first. Like, um. Do I have to undo this? How many things is this gonna make me undo before I'm able to, to put the stupid half shaft on? At least I figured out the power thing. Let's 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 focus on the good. <laughs> figured out the power thing. Might not figure out anything else in this episode. Here, let's grab these. Put them on the, up here so I can get to them easy. And we'll take this stupid thing off. I hate undoing things I've already done. You know what I mean? It's just so uh seems so fruitless. Oh, come on. You're not that large. I 
I'm glad that in this game, those uh, all the little attachments don't go flying everywhere when the whole box of stuff falls out. Because uh, let me tell you, in real life, <laughs> that would not stay together. Okay. There. Alright. Steering rod's off. Strut is off. Oh, uh-oh. Let's try this. Oh, come on. Grab it. No can do. That's off. Alright, I've taken off more or less everything that I can. Oh, no. No luck. Thank you for the advice, Cory, but that appears to uh, not do it in this. And my car is just going to move on its own now. Um, so, that's something maybe we'll deal with later. But uh, I think I am done with this for now. And let me move these out from under it so maybe it'll stop freaking out. That seems to have worked. Okay, uh, everyone, thank you for watching. I so hope you still enjoyed this, even though I am just so frustrated with it right now. <laughs> and uh, we'll come back next time where I put all those stupid parts back on and continue to struggle to get this dang car together. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Again, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Love you all.